Hey guys, today we're at the Disneyland Resort, ready to show you where you can find some lesser known Disneyland treats. Mm. This is my friend Max. Hi. He also has a very Disney-centric YouTube channel, and we're both doing treat videos today, so when you're done watching this one, head over to his and watch part two. Let's get eaten. Yum! So we're in the Candy Palace right now, which is a place where I actually used to work when I worked at Disneyland. And my favorite thing when I was working here is the chocolate covered toffee. They make it in the store, which is really great. So when you buy it here, it'll have a sticker on it that says like, made fresh at Disneyland. And this is them literally making it right here. A layer of toffee covered in chocolate with almonds. And it's really good. And we're gonna get some and share it. And it's gonna be amazing. So this is the toffee. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a bite for you. Mm. <laughs> Literally my favorite thing at Candy Palace is this. It tastes so fresh. Oh man. I love that. That's so good. It's not like this is a packaged item. Mm -hmm. It's like this is a fresh item that they just put in this package. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just, yeah. There's something about the chocolate, I feel like it's, it's just really, really creamy. Woo! Our videos have now crossed into each other. In Max's yeah. video, he eats a tigger tail. Yeah. And in Sarah's video, she eats the toffee. Toffee. Did you just call it a Kit Kat? <laughs> no, I said can I meant to say Candy Palace. She eats the whole Candy Palace. She eats palace. all of Candy Palace. And then <laughs> we are at the Cozy Cone Motel. I think when they added Cars Line, they were like, we're just gonna have the best snacks in Cars Line because this is like my favorite place to get <laughs> treats. And one of my favorite things, when I heard about it, I was so excited because they have flavored popcorn here. I've yeah. never had this. So they have regular butter popcorn, which is great. And then they also, my favorite flavor that they have, dill pickle. What? It's amazing. Sometimes I also have salt and vinegar. And you don't have to choose one or the other. We can get like half butter and like half dill pickle. So you can have your classic favorite and then a special new favorite. Popcorn. So good. It's so subtle. It's just like a pickle aftertaste. Okay. This is his first time. This is my first time ever trying this. Yes. It's great. I love it. You're right. It's just like a slight, slight hint. You like it? Like at first it's just your mouth doesn't know what to do with that flavor. And you're like, oh no, it is good. Yeah. My mouth was instantly like, ooh. Yes! Well, it's, it's so, like you don't expect it to taste like that, you know? Because it's popcorn. Yeah. yeah. And here's the other fun thing you can do with these. Ready? Go back. He missed it. <laughs> you are looking like a fool. I got this. <laughs> oh my god. Leo. One more, one more, one more. I can do it. Yay! Nice. There we go. Virtual that only took me one try. So I went to the Ghirardelli Soda Fountain and Chocolate Shop, which is now partnered with Disney. And I got their world famous sundae because I thought that was like a standard. They have all kinds of other sundaes. They have ones with brownies and cookies and bananas and eight scoops of ice cream. But this is like the standard vanilla with hot chocolate. I'm surprised the fudge is so like thick and like chewy. You know? It's like Ghirardelli fudge. <laughs> I love it. It's really good. Yeah. Really good. Mm. Mm. It's actually really perfect because it's so hot. And this just cools you down. inside the Carthay Circle Lounge on Buena Vista Street in California Adventure. We're here because they have a lot of specialty drinks, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. But what's cool is that they have this really awesome ice machine. I know that sounds lame, but it makes perfect spheres for your drink. And it's an amazing machine. And I'm going to try and show you how it works. And then I'm going to show you how it looks in a drink. <laughs> it's going to be fun, I promise. And I'm going to show you the lighting crew. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese cold fusion technology. Here, you want to do it? Special ionized aluminum that absorbs heat. So what we're going to do is we put the ice in there. The aluminum is going to take the ambient energy or the heat out of the ice and melt the perfect sphere for us. 
This has no impurities and no oxygen, so it's going to be very, very, very clear when we're finished with it. And like magic, it's like the labyrinth. Like David Bowie? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you for the cup of ice. Oh, You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think Disney pays like $2 for those cubes. Really? Very expensive, yeah. And these are $1,200 if you want to buy one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get it to spin. Oh, man. Yes. Like All right. Gorgeous. So this is this is a Manhattan, guys. I'm I'm over 21, so it's okay for all you adults out there. This is where you can get a nice beverage at the end of your day at Disneyland. And you can, as you can see, the ice that he made is in here in a perfect sphere, which I think is just a really neat thing that happens at Carthay. They make these amazing um, uh, ice balls. <laughs> it's like Elsa's magic in a drink. Elsa? Exactly. Elsa? Yeah. We did it. We ate so many snacks. Oh, we so ate so many sugary snacks today. We hope we showed you where you can find new and interesting things to eat when you're visiting the Disneyland Resort. Mm -hmm. Be sure to go check out Max's channel because the other half of this video is on his channel. Four snacks on mine, four snacks on his. So many snacks. So many snacks. So links to everything is in the description box below. Thank you to Leo for filming today. And I'm going to go into a sugar nap <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Break down the armor All things in armor But all